Hello everyone, welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sport and some really cool news to start the week um, with reports over the weekend that Sharks star, up and coming star, uh, Sienna Suku has potentially caught the eye of Rusty Rasmus and the Springbok coaching staff ahead of the upcoming test window and has reportedly been um, added to the list of names for the next alignment camp for the Springboks. Now, before we get into the details, as well as sort of look exactly how this has all transpired and just how genuine an option Sienna Suku might be for the Springboks, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. He's becoming difficult to uh, ignore, isn't he? I mean, the 27-year-old has been fantastic in, in the last few months. And uh, it's been frustrating as fans because we've all known that he's been around the, the Sharks setup, that he is such a great player. But he hasn't really had the opportunity so far to, to really sort of show is that what it's all about in the early parts of the season. Um, however, a few months ago, um, he was given an opportunity. A couple, I think it was one off the bench and then got a start. And you could already see a um, very different type of player to, for example, like a Kerwin Bosch or Buddha Chamberlain, who the Sharks have been using more over the season. Um, but also, you know, we're starting to see that he's got such a high threshold. We're talking about players playing club rugby a few years ago. Moved to the Cheetahs, looked fantastic. Now he's moved to the Sharks. And uh, he's now on a streak. At one stage, I think he'd won three out of four Man of the Match awards. You know, it was he's in that kind of form at the moment. And he was absolutely phenomenal once again um, as the Sharks booked a Challenge Cup final after a really impressive comeback against Clement where he was 100% off the kicking tee. So, um, yeah, he's been absolutely terrific. And uh, he was not included in the first initial list for the Springbok alignment camps, which is probably fair enough given the fact that he hadn't played a lot of rugby um you know this year when when the alignment camps actually took place um but he's now becoming difficult to ignore and uh, he's probably the form uh, fly half in the country at the moment um and uh with the fact that we're going to be playing against wales outside the test window for example which means that Andre Paul will not be available uh he becomes a genuine option and uh, we need to look at who our options are for the next world cup which is why these alignment camps are taking place uh, there's a lot of talk about uh, Sinead Hammer, for example, because of the season he's having. Um, but as the, sh as the Lions form has maybe struggled, as the Sharks form has surged, all of a sudden, all attention seems to be on Sia Masuku. And uh, at the end of the day, it's about having as many options as possible, isn't it? And if you look at him, he becomes a difficult player to ignore. Fantastic off the tee. Probably needs to work on his kicking in 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 uh, out of hand, you know, in general play. You know, his tactical kicking is maybe even his game awareness and game management. Um, which are things that you do learn at the more you play, especially at higher levels. So that is something that's very teachable. Um, but he's got a decent bit of physicality about him, and he's a very exciting player with ball in hand. You know, he can throw the cut out to pass, he can create tries, you know, he can take the ball to the line as well. You know, he's he's almost just out of 100 kg, so he's not a small player, for example. Um, and apparently, uh, he has been added. So uh, this was by a report, which is obviously uh, the Sunday newspaper, usually quite uh, accurate. And uh, apparently he has been added to the names and uh, we received an invitation for the next alignment camp, uh, which will, I think take place I don't know if it's this weekend or it's, it's, it's coming up anyway. Uh, I think it's a Friday camp. Some of the players, well, I suppose we can cancel, but you know, when they do have um, the entire actual alignment camp is going to be canceling and we're doing an online session. And uh, that was happened because of the, the Sharks making the, the, the challenge for final, for example, where, you know, that earmark that potential weekend, um, as the just next weekend, as the uh, op as, as the option to have an alignment camp, given the fact that none of the South African teams are playing, but now with the Sharks playing, it's going to be an online session. Apparently, he will be involved in that. Um, so let me know what you think. Does he become a genuine Springbok option? Would you like to see him in Springbok colours come uh, the Wales Test, for example, the Portugal Test? You know, do you think that he's someone who could genuinely make a Springbok thirty-three man squad? It's difficult to you know suddenly ignore the likes of Mike Leibok who. You know, it was a bit of a breakthrough player last year. You know, maybe it's we were very quick to dismiss him after the semi-final incident where he was subbed early on in the game. But he had a fantastic season, all in all, for, for the Springboks last year. So uh, it's good to see that we've got options, especially going forward. You know, the likes of an Andre Party still got another World Cup in him, but we need more depth. I think that's what we've realized in the last few years, that we were really short on fly half depth. And now more and more options do seem to be popping up. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.